Hello everyone, thank you for today's first video. We're doing the ECMWF 38 or care for today's first video. It's back, it's been on a layoff for two or three weeks over Christmas, but the EC 30 day uh, forecast has returned uh, for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. So we're going to look at uh, mean silver pressure, uh, 500 millibar heights, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. Uh, and of course that will take us into the early part of February. We could go out to six weeks uh, with this, but we always stop this at like uh, uh, week four, uh, as it is a month head look at. We will show you weeks five and six data in our live stream tomorrow, and, uh, and that live stream will, of course, um, be coming up from six o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, right, so uh, later on today we're going to have a Kenta 14 day uh, video update as well, so um, check that out if you'd like to do that, we'll include all reg features, of course have all of the latest news on the sudden stratospheric warming that has occurred and is still going on right now as we're speaking um, in the stratosphere over North Pole. So that will be coming up later on this afternoon. Right, let's do this then. Uh, we're going to start off with the week one mean silver pressure anomaly uh, for Europe and uh, and the uh, North Atlantic as well, taking us uh, from the 4th through to the 11th of January. Uh, the deeper the pink, the higher the pressure. The deeper blue, the lower the pressure. So you can see that for this week, um, we have got high pressure sitting to the north and the northwest of Europe. So we've got high pressure across uh, much of northern Europe. extends out into the North Atlantic as well. Then we've got low pressure down here through Mediterranean as well. Jet stream is being pushed south as well. And that means most parts of Europe are cold via the northern blocking pushing cold air from the normal latitudes and down into uh, northern Europe. So it's a classic sort of negative uh, NAO-AO combination, but we've got right now the subly tracking jet stream and northern blocking too. Uh, right, let's just uh, give this quick pause so we don't have any more refreshing. All right, there we go, shouldn't have any more refreshing. Uh, right, so, uh, yeah, this is the uh, week one, 500 millibar high dominant from the uh, North Pole view down. Uh, again, takes from the 40th length of January. Again, you can see the Mid-Atlantic Ridge extending back to the Northern Blocking with below pressure uh, underneath, blocking down here. Jet stream pushed southwards, just confirms the idea that we have got a lot of Northern Blocking and we're pushing cold air down into much of Northern and Western Europe this week. Uh, so the temperature anomaly, east-west split, or north-west-south-east split, I suppose. So for much of northern and western Europe, from Scandinavia all the way down to Spain and Portugal, including Ireland and the UK as well, it is colder than average uh, in this week with below average temperature anomaly. So eastern, southeastern Europe, though, is milder than average, quite significantly so, if we add on the uh, temperature oblate scale, you can see we are into those orange and red uh, temperatures, which is kind of like 6 to 10 degrees above average uh, down here in this southeastern corner, just here where we've got these red colours. Uh, that area there is like, um, so between the Balkans and the Black Sea, I suppose, uh, around 6 to 10 degrees above average. Conversely, though, it is, it is really cold uh, in the north and west of Europe, going down towards those deeper blue colours, so that indicates temperatures... In, in some areas, like um, southern Norway, for example, and also around northern Spain, uh, there we go down to around 6 to 10 degrees below average. So it is very, uh, very much a northwest southeast split with the temperature uh, anomaly uh, this week. Uh, we see that through Med as well. So uh, from Italy westwards, it's colder than average. From Italy eastwards, it's milder than average, and particularly mild uh, uh, around Greece and Turkey as well. The uh, precipitation anomaly uh, is looking like this. So drier and average in the northwest, of course, where we've got the northern blocking and it's cold, it will typically be drier as well. So much of Scandinavia is drier than average. Ireland, UK, many parts of France, into much of Germany, uh, the low countries as well. Denmark looking uh, drier than average. But eastern Europe looks a little bit wetter than average. And also we've got much of the Mediterranean looking rather wet as well, especially so down here around parts of Greece, actually, and uh, going up into the Balkans, around the coast of the Asiatic there, uh, looking uh, really much, uh, really very much wetter than average through there. So mild and wet in the east and the southeast, cold and dry in the north and west of Europe for uh, week one. 
We go through to week two, which will take us from the 11th to the 18th of January. And again, uh, it, we uh, look like this. So high pressure now sitting across much of Western Europe, extending back into Northern Blocking, but still around Green and Iceland. Low pressure is across much of Eastern uh, Europe. It looks like everything's being shunted eastwards a little bit, I think. So Western Europe turning generally dry and probably still cold, as I think the wind would still be typically coming in. From the north, but also the cold normally is probably extending into more eastern parts of Europe and northeastern Europe as well, with this trough of low pressure getting pushed eastwards. The uh, week two, 500 millibar height anomaly from the 11th to the 18th of January, um, again sort of indicates high pressure sitting over and to the north of, the, of Europe, low pressure is across many eastern parts of Europe. It looks like there's a trough in the 500 millibar flow that could well be pulling in colder air to northern and eastern parts of Europe. Maybe a little bit of a pattern change starting to go on here. So you see the cold and average area is extending eastwards. The mild and average temperatures are being pushed into extreme southern and southwestern parts of Russia and down into the far eastern part of the Mediterranean. Still significantly cold average through northern Europe, um, but those cold average temperatures are generally extending east. It's actually it's a cold week across most parts of Europe. Either in the UK are seeing a slight recovery in the temperature, it's like it's beginning to go slightly milder just out to our west, but generally like from the far west of Europe right way towards western Russia and most places in between it's colder than average in this week. So, so this week, week two, is actually the coldest week for, for many parts of Europe, potentially. And the uh, precipitation uh, anomaly for uh, week two from the 11th to 18th of January, looking like that. So it's driving average from many northern and western parts of Europe where we've got high pressure, wetter than average over on the eastern side of Europe. And of course, as those colder temperatures extending eastwards, there'll be more and more snow starting to turn up uh, uh, across uh, many eastern uh, parts of Europe as well. Central and eastern Europe will be turning increasingly snowy. So it's cold temperatures extend eastwards. Precipitation wise, it's wetter than average in the extreme east of Europe, but it's drier than average generally uh, through the Med and out into Spain and Portugal. Right, so we go through to week three, which is going to take us from the uh, 18th to 25th of January. Changes, changes here. Low pressure is deepening in the Atlantic. That low pressure is beginning along the jet stream to push in from the Atlantic into northern and west Europe. Higher pressure is beginning to build through this southeast part of the Mediterranean. We do have a little bit of northern blocking left up towards green, but it's clearly weakening. So a return of the westerlies. A return of westerlies in week three, the 18th to 25th of January, suggests more unsettled for northern and particularly western Europe and also probably milder as well. That is the week three 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, northern blocking is still there around green, but it is weakening as this lower pressure begins to start to move in from the Atlantic along uh, with the jet stream as well. This just here is what's left over from the cold weather. Uh, that's that's a cold trough that's still across northern and northeastern parts of Europe. Heights beginning to rise down in the Mediterranean, beginning to revert to a more sort of typical westerly type pattern. Uh, go ahead myself. Week uh, three temperature anomalies look like that. Yes, it's going mild on average. What's left of the cold trough is in the northeast of Europe. So from Scandinavia through Baltic areas into uh, northeastern uh, Europe like Latvia, Estonia uh, and back into northwestern Russia. Still cold there. Still a legacy of the cold weather. But most parts of western and central Europe are turning milder. Milder winds are beginning to come in from off the Atlantic. Um, uh, we also see that Mediterranean is generally going mild on average as well. That's as the heights are rising, of course, through through the Med. And the week, uh, the week free precipitation anomaly, uh, looking wetter than average in northern and western Europe. Lower pressure is starting to come in from off the Atlantic, along with the jet stream beginning to push it off as well. Still a legacy of some dry weather around Greenland and Iceland. It's via northern blocking, much of the Med is looking dry as well, although Spain and Portugal could be rather wet. This is a change, uh, changeover week, something milder and more Atlantic driven. And then we go through to week four, which is the 25th of January to the 1st of February. And it's looking unsettled now uh, for northwest Europe anyway. Low pressure is out in the Atlantic. 
Looks like that low pressure will be pushing eastwards across to Northern Europe. Jet streams pushing off northwards as well. Notice the Northern blocking is disappearing. Where is the Northern blocking going? Uh, where is that Northern blocking going? Considering this is about when we start expecting some effects from the sudden, uh, from the current sudden stratospheric warming. Let's have a look. So uh, just a general sort of reduction in Northern blocking. It's a little bit left on the fibre driven by high dominant around Greenland but overall this looks like a reversion back to Wesley's heights rising uh, further through the Med and from the Azores low pressure in the North Atlantic winds going back into a west to southwesterly type direction week for uh, temperature noise from the 25th of January to the 1st of February mild over now but still a legacy of some cold weather from Scandinavia, you'll notice, still Scandinavia looking quite cold, but overall looking a lot milder now across uh, most parts of Europe. The jet stream has pushed northwards and it's allowing those winds to come in from the west and from the southwest. And the uh, week for precipitation anomaly, lastly, looks like that. So it's still a bit dry of an average up towards Greenland and ice. That's the only thing you want a continuation of cold weather. That's the only thing. But that looks, um, you know, looks interesting. Uh, second half of January is this ongoing signal for dry weather around Greenland and Iceland that you would have thought is associated with higher pressure. Um, the, the jet stream still isn't going as as far north as you, as it would typically be in the winter. The jet stream is probably through here. Um, so it is going wetter through, through much of northern and western Europe, but the jet stream is still not in a typical zonal uh, position. Of course, if the model um, has got less blocking than will actually be the case, then that jet stream could be further south. You notice much of the med is turning drier, and again, that is as heights are rising uh, across southern parts of Europe. And, uh, of course, weeks five and six will take us from the 1st of February to the 15th of February. And we'll cover that in the live stream uh, tomorrow. But I'm going to stop this uh, there, as we have done. Uh, four week, 30 day log ahead. So it is It is an interesting outlook. This it looks like the next uh, week, next couple of weeks, going to be generally cold across many parts of Europe. Those cold temperatures extending eastwards actually through next week. Um, so, so eastern parts of Europe probably going a lot colder and snowier through next week. Uh, but then the second half of January, it looks like we revert back to uh, a more typical or, or a slightly more typical uh, westerly uh, type pattern. Return west is turn, turning many parts of Europe milder and wetter through the second half of January. Although still, even to the end of January, still not typical classic zonal westerly. Still not that jet stream um, up around Greenland and Iceland and the low pressure there. Still the jet stream displays a bit further south, you expect, but far enough north to start to pull up milder air into uh, much of, particularly, I would have thought, uh, Western Europe. So, so that's it. And then, of course, we'll have a look at weeks five and six data in our live stream tomorrow from six o'clock. If you enjoyed this ECM WF 30 look at then please, can you click like? Let us know in the comments what you think. Make sure, make sure you are subscribed to our channel. We're going to be back later on with a 10 to 14 day update. So I shall see you for that later. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.